Welcome back to what happens when you go to a psych ward. So you've been admitted to the hospital, meaning that you're staying in the psych ward for at least a few more days now. And the reason why I said psych wards may not be as scary as you think is because there's a lot of stereotypes like in movies or in SpongeBob that you are thrown into like an isolation room wearing a straight jacket. And that should not happen. It's typically not true. And I do want to acknowledge that yes, going to a psych ward is still scary. Everyone's experience is different, but it's typically not going to look like this Hollywood set. A lot of people commented that psych wards need a lot of work, and I agree, there's always room for improvement in the system. I think it'd be great if there was more of an emphasis on therapy, but at the end of the day, people are right when they say psych wards are like jails. The whole reason that you're there is so that we can make sure you're safe and you're not either a threat to yourself or others. We talk to patients every day and there are group activities and therapy sessions, but I think there always could be more. There also is visitation hours so family can come and visit like one hour a day. A lot of people do struggle with withdrawing from technology, drugs, or alcohol. 